Good morning, this is David Cohen from the Legal Partner Law Offices. Today we're going to talk about opening a company in Monaco uh, specifically. How does it work? Um, opening a company in Monaco is a straightforward process. I would say like in any other country, you need to prepare several documentation, the status of the company, uh, which will rule the life of the company and also the relationship between uh, all the, the associate corners, shoulders of the company. Uh, what is the legal process? We will require two different authorization to open a company. The first authorization is directly linked to the shareholders. All shareholders will go through a compliance process from the government of Monaco to authorize each of them once to be shareholder in a company. Then you can manage the shares the way you want. You can buy shares in other companies or sell your shares to another shareholder. The authorization will be automatic, but this has to be run once. Then the second authorization is about the object of the company. What are you going to be doing in Monaco? And of course, there will be a second authorization on this based on two things. First, is it a regulated activity that you need to have? And in this case, you, you will have to present uh, the diplomas or other authorization from your country. And the second is linked more about the object itself. Does the Principality of Monaco want to open such a company on their soil? Normally, I would say there is no reason why uh, the government would refuse, but we we are never protected against it. For example, if you want to open a casino in Monaco, be aware that it's going to be definitely a no. But this comes with the authorization process. Um, then what are the requirements? Of course, uh, filling a long list of papers, but this is our duty to uh, be with you, hold your hand and prepare all this documentation for you. The second main thing will be finding a location for your company. And this is a specificity of Monaco. You need to find a place to put your headquarters and this place has to be in direct link with the object of your company. For example, if you need to open a bakery or a restaurant, you need to put your uh, corporate address in a place that is suitable for a bakery or restaurant. If you need to have offices, you can rent a small office or you can rent an apartment with mixed use, mixed use meaning living and commercial use. Um, this is one of the specificities of Monaco and it's better to know it before because the, the rental price are higher than other countries for this particular reason. Um, what are the requirements when you want to rent a place for your company in Monaco? You need to forecast paying up to six or seven months in advance. This is absolutely not lost, but that's the way of doing in Monaco. You have to pay by quarter, so you will pay for the running quarter and for the next quarter also, plus, of course, the normal deposit of, uh, of two months, which means that think about around six months in advance, and then you will pay no more, but one quarter in advance. You pay at the beginning of each quarter. I think this is all for a brief presentation of the opening of a company in Monaco with those specific requirements. If you need some more information, do not hesitate to look to all of our other videos. Thank you and see you soon.